My reputation at school was a troublemaker and the gang leader because I was getting into fights. It was peer pressure that leaded me into all this trouble and stuff. It was like my name, always getting involved. And the school decided, did the school give me the name as the gang leader? I met the undercover officers. I was stood with a mate one day and they came up to me with dodgy deal, basically. Ten pound trainers and as me, I like my brand Nike, G-Star, the stuff and it made me interested so I met them for the trainers and the clothes and I gained a relationship with them. Then all of a sudden they just decided to ring me for drugs. They raided my house. The police arrested me at seven o'clock in the morning. And out of the blue, I just seen so many officers and it just really shocked me. They just came in shouting my name, whereas if we didn't have no rights in our own house. At the time I was 15, 16 years old, you don't know what to expect. Always stressed, worried, I was what as what was going to happen to me for supplying drugs. It wasn't until February they dealt with me, which I was in Leeds Crown Court for my sentencing, which I received a three-month curfew, a six-month ISSP and a 12-month supervision order. People were looking at me as influencing other young people, which I wasn't. It was just a mistake what I made. People thought I was a fuck. I had the fuggish look, but now I've changed to a more older lad, mature lad, who's been through everything, court appearances, stress, worries, policing, the whole lot. So it's just helped me to get a better lad and to be a stronger one.